Hey there! So for example, a couple decides to sell some of their items. So from selling these items, they get a weapon $45,000 Namobian dollars. Now if both the husband and the wife decide to share this amount in a ratio of 2 to 3, how much will each get? Now to find out, stay tuned. Welcome to Rise Up Namobia. My name is Met Yanata, aka the resistor of bad and the love of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore. Walk by faith and not by sight. So, knowing that they got a 45,000 Namibian dollars and they have decided to share it in a ratio of 2 to 3, the first thing you want to do is get the total of the ratio, which means you add whatever is in the ratio. Now in this case, we have a 2 and a 3. So what is 2 plus 3? You get a 5. Okay? Now that we have our total of the ratio, let's find how much the husband got. Now when you look into the ratio, the husband is on the left hand side. So the number on the left in the ratio is his. So the 2 is his. The wife is on the right. So the 3 is for the wife. Okay? Now to find how much the husband got, we simply divide his ratio by the total, which is 5. Okay? Like that. So we divide the 2 by 5, and then we multiply it with the total amount of money they got from selling their items, which is 45,000. So you get 18,000 by dividing 2 divided by 5 multiplied by 45,000. Okay, so the husband got $18,000. Now, how about the wife? You do the same thing. You look at the wife's ratio, which is a 3, and you divide it by 5. Okay? Which is the total of the ratio. After that, you multiply it with the amount that they got, which is 45000 So, what answer will you get? You get 27000 And that is the amount of the money that the wife got. So the wife got more money than the husband. Now to check if these are the right answers, you can add the 18,000 plus 27,000. You are supposed to be getting 45,000. Okay? How about if the couple sold their items from 9 to 5 and the time they spent on marketing, sales, and calls is in the ratio. Marketing, sales, calls equals to 363. So we have a question that says, calculate the time the couple spends on A, sales, B, marketing, C, calls. And then it has an extra instruction to say, give answer in minutes. Okay. So the first thing we want to do before we answer these questions is we want to get the total hours worked or the total hours they spend selling their items. So in this statement, we have the couple sold their items from 9 until 5. Now from 9 to 5, how many hours are those? Those are 8 hours in total. Okay. How about the ratio? Let's find the ratio total as well. So the ratio we have 3, 6, 3, right? So what is the total? When you add 3 to 6, you get a 9. And then when you add another 3, you get a 12. Okay? Now that we got our total hours worked and the ratio total, now we can calculate or answer this question. So let's start with A. Calculate the time the couple spends on sales. Now, when you come to your ratio, check the words. Where is sales? Sales is in the middle, which means the ratio for sales is the 6. Okay? So, you divide that 6 with the ratio total, meaning 6 divided by 3 plus 6 plus 3, like this, 6 divided by 12, multiplied by the amount of hours worked, which is 8 hours. Okay? What will it give you? It will give you 4 hours. So they spend 4 hours on sales. 
Okay? How about on marketing? Again, check on your words. Marketing is the first one. So meaning on the ratio, it's thus three. So what you do is you divide that three with the total ratio, which is this 12. Three divided by 12. Then you multiply it by the total hours worked, which is eight. Three divided by 12 multiplied by eight gives us two hours. So they spend two hours on marketing. Now how about C? C is asking for calls. Now when you look at your word, calls is the last one here. So which means its ratio is the three, the last one. So you divide the three by 12 and then you multiply it by the eight hours. And then you get two hours. But now your instruction says, give answer in minutes. So you need to ask yourself, how many minutes are in one hour? There's 60 minutes. So you multiply these two hours by 60. So your answer is 120 minutes. And that's your final answer. Knowing that the wife got 27,000. How about if I asked you a typical exam question, which is, how much did she spend if she spent a fraction of 1 over 2 to buy a new smart screen for her business and to install a fireplace for her new home? How much did she spend? Now to get this answer, it's simple. You just take your 1 over 2 and then you multiply it with 27,000. Okay, so you get your answer, which is 13,500. What about if the fraction is not 1 over 2, and you get a fraction like 3 over 5? You do the same thing. You still multiply it with the 27,000, which is the amount she got. You will see that now you receive, or she used, 16,200. Now, another typical question related to these questions are, let's say this 1 over 2. So, you were asked the 1 over 2 and you got your answer, which is 13,500. Now, they might ask you, what percent of her money is the 13,500? Now, this is actually also simple. There's a lot of ways to do this. Let me show you two ways. The first way is you take the 1 over 2. And you simply multiply it with 100. You will get that it's 50%. Now the other way is you take the amount which is 13,500 and you divide it by the 27,000. After you do that, you multiply it by 100. It still gives you 50%. Now let me give you 10 seconds to calculate what percent of the initial amount here of 27,000 is this 16,200 or 3 over 5. So I'll give you 10 seconds to calculate that one. Okay. So the answer to that will be 60%. Okay. So did you find this video helpful? If yes, do give us a huge thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification button to be the first to see the next upload, share with friends, family and classmates. And remember, together we rise to higher heights, apart we all stay behind. Cheers.